So here we're told that there are only three articles of clothing in a closet, and I'm going to call them S, D, and J, shirts, dresses, and jackets. And we're given this triple ratio of these quantities, 9 to 4 to 5. So I can use the multiplier approach, 9x, 4x, 5x, where x is some integer. So these quantities are all integers. And we're told that there are more than seven dresses in the closet. So really, this is the condition. The other way you can also do this problem is just list the possible numbers we could have. Well, we can't have nine, four, five because we're told that the dresses has to be greater than seven. So we could have twice these, 18, eight, and 10, and triple, so 27, 12, 15, and so on and so forth. So question is, what's the total number of clothing? That's this sum of uh, these quantities, which is 18x. So really it's about, can I find what this multiplier is? Start with statement one, it says the total number of shirts and jackets, which is 9x plus 5x, is less than 30. So 14x is less than 30, divide by 2, x is less than 15 over 7, and that is 2 and 1 7 So X, X actually has to be greater than 1 because X is greater than 7 fourth, which is um, 1 and 3 fourth. So the only possible value is X equal to 2. And you can see it from here as well. We have to satisfy that the shirts and jackets has to be less than uh, 30. That gives us 28. But if you go further, that's 42 and all other higher values of X would exceed this condition. So that's the only possible arrangement and we do know the total number. It's this sum, 26 plus 10, 36. So we do have a unique value for the answer. So one alone is sufficient. Two says the total number of shirts and dresses in the closet is 26. So shirts and dresses, so 9x plus 4x equal to 26. We get 30, 13x is 26. X is 2. We have a unique value. 2 alone is sufficient. So one thing I want to make a comment here is that this is very common. If you look at statement 1, it seems kind of open-ended with this less than. Whereas 2 seems like we'll get a definite value. So they want you to sort of read the statement and just think, well, it could be anything. But you should actually always write down examples um, that, if you think it's insufficient, that negate or give you multiple values in this particular case. Uh, for the total number of clothing, um, uh, for total number of articles of clothing before you claim insufficiency. But in this case, each statement alone is sufficient. The answer is D.